What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to another episode of The Road to Glory. It's going to be probably a short video today actually guys. Um, you know, it's, there's going to be no gameplay. It's already late recording this. It's quarter to eight at the time recording this. So getting this up for 10 o'clock is going to be quite tricky. So this might be a late one. It's been a rough weekend. It's been a busy weekend. Lots to do in FIFA. Lots going on. Lots of time dedicated to the main channel this weekend. Which means not lots of time dedicated to foot champs. Um, in fact... No time dedicated to foot champs. I played two games, won them both, but I just haven't had the time to get on this game to play it this weekend. And it felt great. You know, it truly felt great. The reason why I didn't have time to get on the game to play it this uh, this week is because we had daily objectives. We had actually something to do in FIFA for a change. We had to go and win nine seasons matches. We had to go and play 20 games. Of course, I did uh, plenty of those in drafts, some of those in divisions, played a squad battles game or two, a couple of foot champs games. You know, it was it was fun doing that across the board. We had to score off the woodwork in online singles matches, which was a pain. That took me about five or six games, that did. Uh, so that was uh, that was stressful. But generally speaking, Foot Champs has been at the back of my mind as we take Dave Myler there. Fantastic stuff. It's, it's been at the back of my mind because there's actually been things to do in this game outside of forcing myself to play Foot Champs for a chance at getting something good in a pack. You know, uh, this Horgan card, remember his, did he have a team of the season a while back? It was very good. Um, Horgan there is, is uh, for us, and then Luck of the Irish is for us. Uh, what we're going to be doing today, I'm going to show you uh, around the account a little bit. I'm going to show you where we're at with everything. We're going to go and take a look at Rooney and um, Torre to see which one is the better one, which one you could do, which one you should do. Uh, I made a lot of good profit this weekend. And, and it's another thing, just staying active on the transfer market at the right time. I made more money this weekend from investments than I did last, uh, not last weekend, but the weekend before from finishing Elite 3 and Foot Champs. Two weekends ago, I finished Elite 3 and Foot Champs, made about 110,000 coins. Well, I bought Tosun, I bought two Tosun cards for around 15 to 18,000 coins. I sold one for 50k in the hype, and sadly, I only sold one for 35k. But for, what, 36k, we basically made about 50,000 coins profit on him. I bought Mo Salah as he scored his first goal for 434,000 and sold him for 590. So made over 150,000 before tax off of that. We got Socrates and Muller previously from just the packs. Sold a few Irish players, a few Brazilian centre-backs and right mids for the SBCs that were pertinent, no problem at all. Sold Juan Fran and sold Asenjo because, as you'll see, we're down to 3.8 million coins. Where do those coins go? I'll show you. We made some big team changes, which now won't take effect until next weekend's cha uh, foot champs. I might be able to play a few more foot champs games um, this evening. But obviously, as a new father, late nights, I, I take care of my son a lot. So where I, I used to play like... A lot of foot champs on Sunday nights, actually, you know, like from 10 p.m. onwards, the last sort of four or five hours, I'd sometimes crush out 10 or 15 games. I don't have that luxury anymore, uh, at least not right now. So uh, we might might not be able to get some stuff. I sold a whole bunch of other players, some stuff that I had in the club, some players and items that I had in the club, and then we've got some items on the trade pile. So a few Schweinsteigers that I invested in. Still got some informs and some special cards floating around. Some some gold cards that I've won from uh, Foot Draft. Obviously, if you guys follow the Draft of Glory on the main channel as well, you'll see where all of this stuff comes from. But yeah, so some some special items here. Um, the buyer there will list him up. There's there's a few good things here. Ooh, don't want to list him up. No, uh, a few good things here and a few uh, average things here. But generally speaking. Uh, you know, we got some we got some nice stuff in this account. So let me list this up. Now, some of the cards that I bought, I've actually lost money on. Only only like small amounts, but I have lost money on them. And I'm going to show those as well because, while you know, it's all well and good showing the positive side of trading. But as you guys know, with my team of the year investments and with some other things that I've invested in over time, like Giuliano. Oh, that was a frustrating one, wasn't it? I bought five or six Giulianos for like 45k, sold them off for like 35k each, and then a week later he went up to like 80k, and that, that's just typical me. But um, yeah, we, we made some some good profits on some of these things and made some losses. I bought these like Branis Havavanovic's for 12,500 coins. It's an 84 rated special card. Once End of Era Kaka comes out, and if there are any premium SBCs, he might go up, he might go down, but bottom line is I bought these, these cards at prices that I just felt were safe investments. I, I felt were reasonable prices. You know, 20,000 for Fernandez as an 85 rated special card. Interesting enough, he's actually cheaper now. He's about 15,000 coins for an 85 rated card. I might double down on him and go and buy a few more of him because I think that's too, I just think that's too cheap, personally speaking. Um, we've got some other informs here all laying about and such. 
some good cards, uh, some good special cards, a good mix of informs, man of the matches, um, team of the group stage, and e man of the matches. Uh, we've got you know good, real good mix of cards and and a few um, uh, ones to watch cards. But also the path to glory cards that I've invested in, they they're finally starting to pay a few dividends. We've sold off a few of them. We've obviously got the loan items here. The two icons that I bought are still worth the same amount. I'm just waiting for the icons on Thursday. If it's an R9 Ronaldo. Hey, if it's a cheap, if, if R9 Ronaldo requires three icons, I'll dump Cliver, Lipmanen, and Rui Costa. I'll go get him. If R9 Ronaldo requires four icons or more, the prices of these are probably going to skyrocket four or five hundred K. So I'll sell them off and make some good profit. No problem at all. We've still got all these special cards in here as well, which we got. We just got them at, at rock bottom prices. You know, 17,000 coins for an 84 rated. El Tador was 23,000 coins, but he's quite rare on the market. Um, and in fact, he's probably a little bit more now, maybe, maybe the same, maybe 23,000 coins or so. Uh, Higuain obviously now is upgraded to a 93. He's very cheap, Higuain. He's, even now, his Path to Glory card, I think, is, is back down to like 280,000 coins or so, um, which I, I personally find remarkable. There you go, 290,000. I find that remarkable. He is a shoe in in my personal opinion, for a Team of the Knockout Stage card, which would upgrade him to a 94. If he gets any more informs or any special cards through the World Cup, we could end up seeing this Path to Glory card go up to the heights of 96, 97, 98 rated, which would be insane. It would be exceptional. So I'm, I, I'm actually very, very, very happy to just say, you know, at 342,000 coins, I'm going to hang on to this and I'm just going to enjoy it. Icardi we picked up for 76,000. He dipped as low as 50,000, but he scored four goals today. And so his price has gone up to 100,000 coins. And in... Uh, Selling in the hype is the optimum decision. I like this card a lot. He's been very useful for us. 21 games, 14 goals, 9 assists. I want to hang on to him. I want to see what upgrade he gets. And I want to use him. You know, I want to have fun with him. I invested in Romelu Lukaku uh, when he scored for Man United. He's, he's actually gone down. So I have lost a few coins in him. But I'm going to hang on to him. Uh, you never know uh, what happens with EA, with with Lukaku, with Man United. As, as a once to watch item with Man United in many competitions still... Well, in, in FA Cup still, and um, and with lots of games in the league, we could still see a good return on Romelu Lukaku. I actually sniped this Edin Dzeko for 20,000 coins, and he's going for about 25,000 coins, so that was pretty good. we still got Nacho Fernandez, Costa, not not got in form yet, despite playing very, very good. He's very, very cheap, 50,000 coins. When I packed him, he was worth about 90k. I could potentially have sold him there and then, but uh, I'm going to hang on to him. You know, I'm just going to hang on to him. And then I went and bought Juan Fran for the team, 26,000 coins. He cost me less to buy this 86 Juan Fran than it did to buy the 85 Inform Juan Fran that I bought for uh, 33,000 coins. A few more of these special cards that we bought and invested in. I also invested in a Martial. Because I made so much money on uh, Tosun and um, Salah, I thought, you know what, let's go and get that Lukaku. Let's go and get Anthony Martial. And let's just see. Martial obviously did nothing as well. And that's why his price is back down into the mid-60s. Um, but again, I'll, I'll hang on to him. Could use him, whatever. You know, we paid more than this for 80... Two rated Martial back at the start of the year. So one inform for Martial would bump him up to an 85 rated with a big boost, of course. So uh, happy with that. And then lots more informs and stuff. We've, we've got mi probably about 3 million coins worth of items. I've got an 87 bat, shall we? Uh, that we picked up for 130. Now, he actually scored for Dortmund today, so he might be going for a little bit more right now. He's actually not. Uh, he only scored one goal in a 1-0 win. I don't know if that's enough for EA to give him a upgraded, uh, you know, an, another inform. Probably not, but we've got him nonetheless. A whole bunch more informs that we've got laying about that. Elsinio card as well, by the way. This was an expensive card. 20,000 coins for Elsinio when I bought him. There's not many of them on the market. Oh, there's one there for 16K, one there for 17K as well. You know what? I'm actually going to pick that up for 16K. Um, yeah, there's not many of him on the market. He's a rare commodity, so I don't mind. Him, you know, I don't mind spending a little bit here or there on him. And uh, and then last but not least, uh, I guess this is going to turn into a club tour video, actually, guys, right here. Uh, I went and bought myself David de Gea 90 rated card for 160 thousand coins. So he's gone into the team. So the team currently looks as such. Um, Obviously, it's called need post only because I needed post only. This is the team I was going to do. I was going to do five games of foot champs or four games of foot champs and kind of give a good review on which one of these two I favoured more. I, I might still do that. I just don't have the time right now. But this is what my squad looks like currently. We've got Juan Fran down in at right back. Obviously, Rijkaard will go in instead of Rooney uh, when I actually want him back. And then I've got ample choices for striker. I could use Cavani, Lukaku, Icardi, Higuain. 
we've got plenty of options to use up front. But adding uh, David De Gea to our team and adding the upgraded Juan Fran, I'm just hoping will give us a little bit more boost um, next time we do go into foot champs. Now the question we are here for, three items sold. What sold? Hello? Three of those common cards. Um, the question is, Rooney or Torre? People want to know, what do you, who am I going for? I will be going for this man right here, Wayne Rooney. Four-star weak foot, 5'9", medium, medium is perfect. These stats are fantastic. Good physicals, really good heading accuracy. 97 composure, which you guys know I favour. Outside of that, really good dribbling. A little low on agility, but that I think that's true to Rooney. Reactions are great. Passing is fantastic. Shooting is exceptional. Pace is very strong. I rate this card very, very highly. We then look at... Uh, Torre, he's the lowest rated of all the four foot birthday cards and he's akin to like a, a second in form. If Torre actually does something for Man City at the back end of this year, you're going to regret getting this card. Rooney, however, would need a considerable number of informs to match that 90 rated. This 80 rated Torre is not good. Medium, medium work rates is fine. Four star weak foot is great. 6 2 is absolutely fine. When you look at his in games, he's got low stamina for a centre midfielder that's going to be running up and down. He's got low agility and low balance, so we'll feel very, very heavy. And then he's got very mediocre stats outside of that. You know, he's got no interceptions, which is terrible. Interceptions, in my personal opinion, are super important. Uh, his reactions and ball control good. His composure is quite good. His, his short passing is good. His long passing is okay. Um, his shooting is good from distance. But I, I just think when you actually compare this to his regular card, like I say, if he does anything for Man City and gets even one in form, you will immediately regret this card. So I personally think just because of how close he is to his base card versus how close Rooney is to his in form card, um, I, I personally think that Wayne Rooney is just a considerably better choice. And that's what we're going to do. Um, I'm not going to be able to complete. I'm not going to complete the 83 part of Wayne Rooney just yet because I think 83 rated cards are still way too expensive. Uh, let me go into Footbin. They were selling for. Um, they were selling for about 3,500 coins and they are now at, uh, let's go to daily graph, let's go to the player index. Um, PlayStation 4 lowest bins, yeah, we're now looking at like, still, it look it looks to be about the, the 3,000 coin mark. So that, uh, that sucks that they're still at the 3.5k mark. Let me get the exact ratings up here, minimum rating, 83 to 83, and we'll have a look here. So uh, PlayStation... Yeah, 3.5k. I'm not paying 3.5k, not yet anyway. If if in another couple of days or so they're still 3.5k, then maybe I'll consider it. But I'm also going to get the Bastion Schweinsteiger, guys, because I think this card is great, to be perfectly honest with you. So we're going to trade in one of those St. Pat's uh, cards for Bastion Schweinsteiger. We'll pop Horgan into there. I don't think it requires uh, chemistry or anything. So we'll submit that and we get ourselves this fantastic 88-rated Bastion Schweinsteiger. Quite difficult to link because of the league, but... With Giovinco and uh, and uh, the fact that he's German, he's you know we could link him with Royce with Schurler. I like this card a lot. You know, he's got really well-rounded stats other than pace. Uh, if you put a shadow card on him, I think he becomes an exceptional, well-rounded player. Great composure, great ball control, and reactions, better agility and balance than Torre. Very similar in terms of shooting and passing to Torre. A uh, little low on stamina as well, quite like Torre. So in that sense, he probably wouldn't get much game time. It'd either be used as an impact sub or subbed off. But as an 88 rated card for free, this is great. This is great. So we'll send him into the club. And then my other foot birthday card that we're going to do will be Wayne Rooney. So we're going to do the boys in green to start with. We need four St. Pat's Day cards. And we'll throw those in. There goes Dave Myler, Hayden McGeady, Harry Arter, and Seamus the Anus Destroyer will go in there too. Uh, there he is. So Seamus Coleman in there as well. And that gives us our premium goal pack uh, to complete half of this. And then we'll complete the 83 rated squad afterwards. I already have uh, my Ashley Young red card will be traded in as my English player and my Man United player. So I don't need Premier League players outside of that. I can do it for cheaper as soon as the 83 rated cards go down in value. So we have got one pack in store that will open. And then to end this video off, I thought it was going to be a quick video. It's still going to be a typical 20 minute, uh, 20 minute video here. We'll open the pack. Oh, we get a board player. No way. Oh, it's an inform. Let's go, EA. Oh, it's going to be Nacho. That's not bad for, for, for trading in those four players. That is absolutely fantastic, guys. We get Nacho there in our premium gold pack. I don't know if this is tradable or not, but that is very, very good. It is tradable. Hey, that's, that's, 
this now negates the price of the Wayne Rooney SBC by about 10, well, by 10,000 coins. We get a, a good hefty 10, 12K, probably 13K, including all of these players back. That is absolutely spectacular. I'm chuffed to bits with that. Um, that couldn't have gone any better, really, right there. A good start, and because for the other part of Wayne Rooney, you get 15K pack back. So this Wayne Rooney is actually going to cost me about 20,000 coins all in after I buy those players and get back what we get back from the 15k pack as well. And then last but not least for today, we've got fuck 11. I'm going to see if I can do this with items in the club. So uh, six golds, three rares, nine players, 95 chemistry. So we just need Sp Spanish players. So we need, first of all, let's go nation. You don't actually need Spanish players, in fact. If you went for... Um, if you went for just like this guy here... We only need 95 chemistry, so after that you need 6 goals and 3 rares. We could actually just do something like this. Let's just go to England. We'll take 6 golds. Uh, 1. Let's go for number 2. Uh, we'll pop him in. Let's go for number 3. We'll pop him in. That's 2 of our rares taken care of as well. We've already looked at the uh, centre-backs. We need 6 goals in total. We're throwing Britain and Cork there. That's one, two, three, four. That's five gold. So we need one more gold card. There we go. Dyer can go in. And now we just need... Uh, oh, wait. Players from the same league. Maximum five. Right. So let's get rid of this guy here. Let's get rid of Dyer. Let's pop um, him in there. And then let's go and take some... Uh, what do I need? I might, have to, I might have to change that Spaniard. So I need one rare and one gold. I could... No, I want, I want to do English. I want to do all English. Let's go England, nation, any. Let's go to the champ, or division four. Oh, obviously, no golds. Oh, we'll fit in some bronzes. We'll take one of the rare guys first and foremost. So let's go high to low for the centre-backs and take this guy right here. We'll pop him in. Uh, we're going to take a CDM. So I'm going to change that Spanish cam from a bronze to a, uh, to a gold. So we can fit all bronzes in there. So we literally just need to change this Spanish cam to a gold. And then we are golden. Uh, nation, Spain, League, any. And we just need it to be gold. There you go. So plenty of choices here. This is actually a very, very easy one to do. Night 5 chemistry on the nose. Easy as pie. I, I bet a lot of people do... Um, we could actually get more chemistry if we switched all of this around and put the... Uh, in fact, let me show you guys. I, I, I kind of just want to show you for for my own sake right here. If we if we swap the full back midfielders around here, and then go and get a an English and not a sorry an English left mid from here. Uh, let's go low to high because he doesn't need to be higher rated. So we will pop this guy in here. That takes us to ninety four chemistry, and then swap out Redmond for a Premier League right mid that is gold and English. Uh, dire there that we had in anyway. That takes us to 98 chemistry. So easy as you like. Genuinely easy. You don't need Spanish League players. You don't even need Premier League players. Just pop a, a, a cam, a Spanish cam in there behind those and then the rest of this is easy as, easy as pie. And we get a rare gold pack for that. Generally speaking, rare gold packs are pretty trash. Right? Um, no question about it. Rare gold packs can be trash. But sometimes if they favour you, could be great. Let's see if this pack favours us or not. No, it's a thin pack, so there you go. Red gold packs can be trash. It's a fact. Uh, we get ourselves Mitroglu, Luis Alberto, and upgraded Clover there. Let's have a look at uh, Alberto. Might be worth a bit just because of um, just because of this Spanish cam spot. Uh, this Clover upgraded card. Let's have a look if he has any value. He does not. Yeah, I mean, we didn't make much out of that, but I'll take I'll take what we get. You know, you get what you get and you don't get upset. And that, guys, is going to be the end of the video for today. So in the Rooney versus Torre dilemma, me personally, Rooney is the obvious choice. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time. I'm out. Peace.